Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of the Crubcast. We've got a good crew here today this week for this week's episode. Uh, my name's Kevin. I'm also known as the Golden Bolt on most platforms. I'm here with three of our fellow co-crubbers. Uh, to my stage left here in the video version of this podcast, I have Moriarty. Hi, Em. Hello. How are you doing? Hi. I'm very well. How are good. you this fine, wonderful day? I'm good, but we're probably going to get wet because we're there's weather happening. So that'll be oh. cool. Yeah, yeah, that is one way that you could get wet, certainly. Yeah, one of one of at least two. Mm -hmm. I'm also here with famous Twitch streamer JTart9. What are you going to do when Twitch dies, Justin? It's going to be tough because that's where I built my platform. So it's going to be really hard to kind of make everyone migrate to somewhere else. I'm thinking yeah, about going to famous. Mixer. Okay, if you're famous, you should be able to make it work. I, you'd think, but you know that the stickiness of like people moving from platform to platform isn't isn't what it used to be. That's fair. That's fair. And we're also here with the host of today's episode, Mr. All Hail Buckets, also known as Nico the New Gamer. Gamers! Gamers. Gamers. What's going on, fellas? How are we doing today? I just saw uh, Indiana Jones, the new Indiana Jones movie. Oh, I how'd you like it? It's So, if you like Indiana Jones, you will like this movie. If you do not like Indiana Jones, you will not like this movie. It is. It feels like it was specifically made for someone who likes the Indiana Jones uh, series, and I like the Indiana Jones series, so I was I was into it. it. It felt like they just kind of remade the first movie, but with with like modern technology and stuff. So I was like, eh, not too oh, bad. Yeah. Honestly, they they. Uh, I mean, we've had this discussion before, right? But they they should um they should have just replaced him with somebody else. They should do a prequel or or something because it feels like Harrison Ford is. Feels like if you blow in Harrison Ford's general direction, he'll turn into dust and wisp away into the wind. You know? Yeah. Especially with this movie, they could have really set it up to be like a different Indiana Jones. Not saying Yeah, spoilers. but you know people would have hated that, though. They would have. They would have yeah. just complained immediately. Yeah, but like, I also don't like the idea of this guy who you're supposed to root for looking like if a slight breeze comes by, he's going to be folded in half. No, the I right time to do this was in the 90s. Yeah. Right? yeah. Like after the first three yeah. films had already been done, bring in somebody new yeah. and uh, do a young Indiana Jones. Yeah. yeah. They're going to, I mean, they can just put Tom Holland in the role and call it a day. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't think that he'll probably be allowed to play both. I'm not going to lie to you. He can't be Nathan Drake <laughs> and okay, they'll, they'll get They'll get Timothy Chalamet. It's cool. <laughs> you know what? I'm into that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's like, great. Or they could take a risk. They could put Freddie Stroma in. That'd be good. I'd watch that. I'd watch it if they put Freddie Stroma in as Indy. He'd be good. You know, Freddie Stroma from Peacemaker. Actually, that's a good question. Fellas. Uh, now that Twitter sucks and Reddit is bad and almost non-existent, what are we doing? What are you doing for fun? What do we do on the internet anymore? I go outside sometimes. That that yeah, does been, me some does some good. I've been walking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Doing I'm, things out outside. There's grass out there. <laughs> Have you, you touched bocce at all? You play bocce ball, M? No, no bocce. I ball. play lawn darts yeah. because it's not legal. <laughs> Is it not legal? Specifically. It's not legal to buy them anymore, I think. Really? That makes sense. Because I mean, they killed yeah. like several children. I was gonna like, say you're gonna hit thing. a kid in the head with a lawn dart. That's that's um what's it called? Um natural selection. If yes. that kid is, I guess so. If that kid is on under the lawn dart when it's thrown, that's that's it's that's a kid's fault. <laughs> Hi YouTube shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you put my name in there. <laughs> there we go. There's M. Hi. Uh, Hello. For those that don't know, the by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I want, I want to be in the screenshot. <laughs> For those that don't know, we record these uh, usually live uh, in some capacity over on, for now, twitch.tv slash crub underscore official. And these are aired in video form over on youtube.com slash at crub official. But these are also available in the audio realm. If you go to crub.org, you can find every single place where you can find them. I think it's every single audio podcast platform that matters. And I'll I'll say that. I'm pretty confident in that because no, if you have one, suggest it, and I'll tell you it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. So. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, make it, sure that if you are watching in those platforms, as I cut Justin off, take that, do. Justin. Please do. Uh, make sure if you're watching on those platforms or if you're listening on the audio platforms that you leave a nice comment, a review, uh, nothing unnice uh, as far as the, the, the podcast platforms go. You can leave a mean YouTube comment. Well, we, we don't care. But uh, leave nice reviews. Those actually do help us get uh, this thing spread to more people like a disease, which is what crub is. Yes. Yeah. Get crubbed. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag get crubbed 2024 baby let's go like that. <laughs> get crubbed oh. oh man that's that's the crub movie slogan right there i don't like that <laughs> when we do like the impractical jokers movie but it's crub see i was thinking one where we just do a big heist and it's called money crubbing Ooh. Mm. yeah mm. yeah Dude, or, no or, that's great or that money would be a good getaway driver or you money plan. You think that'd be the good getaway driver? No, not, there's yeah. no chance that M is the getaway driver because nobody knows who, what M looks like. So therefore, he's the perfect person to commit the crime. That's true. Uh, yeah, that's fair. He that's sneaks fair. in undetected just fine. Yeah. Actually, he could just be the inside man. So that's what speak. I'm saying. Nobody knows. Nobody knows who the inside man from inside man is. Nobody knows the titular inside man. It's kind of like Clue. There's a different version in every movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I would be okay with that. I'd be all right if they just like uh if there was a film, <laughs> right, where I was the actor or rather there was an actor who was playing me. Uh if they just changed out the actor <laughs> every scene. <laughs> just swap it out every single scene. Like, I, yeah, just who, who who's this guy? Every Everybody scene. Else, hey, I love I'm, that. <laughs> I like the idea you just go in uh whoever the actor is just goes in and robs a bank in a full fur suit. God. Mm. <laughs> And then in the next scene, it's a woman. I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gotta switch everything, dude. Everything. everything. Absolutely everything. <laughs> I like, like that. One, one... In one scene, it's actually M. You never know which one it is, though. <laughs> yeah, no. There you go. Then we put one where it's just like a really, like, really old guy. We'll get Harrison Ford. <laughs> put like a real old guy in. And then... <laughs> and then it's just another one that's just like a child. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Keep them coming. This is just across the M verse. That's just Ooh, all yeah. this is. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Ooh. We can we can shoot it in thirty frames per second. <laughs> can we have Post Malone oh, yeah. uh, sing about uh, having sex in a song that'll be played in the grocery store in the M verse <laughs> movie? Yeah. Because I I would like that. Actually, no. Let let me do a, a shitty Post Malone uh, impression for it. I'll do that. <laughs> okay. I'm Only Nico's allowed do to one, make the music. Right right now, you're on the spot. Right now. Yeah. Do it. Um, <clears throat> this is content. Uh, it's just a game of inputs and outputs and inputs and outputs. That's my Post Malone uh, impression. <laughs> Thank you. I Was that great? I give it a solid 7 out of 10. That was hot garbage. <laughs> 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 it wasn't even close. <laughs> it wasn't even close. Uh, was. Have you have you heard? Po Dude, he has, he has all the songs that just go like, I'm running in circles. Goals. Are you sure you're not? You're just, just the doing you're the TikTok dog. That's all. You're just doing the long nosed TikTok dog. <laughs> That's all that is. Kermy. Hey, here's here's my Post Malone impression. Hey right, Peter, I'm Post Malone now. Oh, there. That's yeah. what you did. That's that's, that's you. That you sounds sound a lot like more that. like him. That and, sounds a lot more like him. And yeah. then we just put Keith Lee throwing that dude from Private Party. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. The Crub, so, the crub uh, movie is just a back-to-back -back cutting of uh, stock clips with that clip thrown in the middle of it. I, we could use the stock footage library that I have I have a paid license for. Uh, I mean, we, we couldn't. We have to buy a Crub one. But yeah, yeah. there's a lot of really good stock footage. I found one of a, of a <laughs> dude walking menacingly towards a toilet in slow motion holding <laughs> toilet paper. I don't know that I can show the video people of this because I don't know if I'm allowed to share that license with people. But if it's there in the video feed... You're welcome. If not, yeah. it'll probably be on my Twitter. Uh, oh, so man, enjoy dude. that. You well, you can't go I, on Twitter anymore. It's one of your 600 tweets for the day. Is looking at yeah, that video. Of to, someone walking I'll Twitter. post it 600 times in a row, and that's just what you get. <laughs> dude, that's the next it. Thing, that's your limit. Get out. Next thing you know, he's gonna be like, oh, any for any video longer than 30 seconds on Twitter, like you can only view 30 seconds for free of any video posted to Twitter. Unless that's the unless next thing he's gonna do. Unless you are a premium member or their premium members, that's the way they'll do it. Because he's trying yeah. to he's trying to allegedly make it a YouTube competitor, and it won't be. 
considering they use Google's cloud platform. So, (laughs) good luck. Twitter video compression has always been terrible, too. Like, why are you doing that? Yeah. (laughs) I mean, that's like when they tried to do... um, Didn't Twitter bought Periscope, didn't they? They did. And then shut it down immediately, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same thing with Vine, dude. What is it with that company? I mean, this was before Elon, even. What is it with that company and buying things that people use and then making and then just shutting them down. They just liquidate all their possible competition. The Warner Bite- Brothers special. Yeah, I guess so, right? Yeah. Bite Dance got lucky with TikTok that they're just like huge. Excited for uh, multiverses. <laughs> yeah, basically, right? I miss being able to play multiverses as LeBron. Double LeBron yeah. mains. Dude, when the leaks for that game came out, I remember we were just like, there's no way that they're putting the human man LeBron James in this movie. In this game. And then they did. Yeah, in this game. And oh, like, in this he was game. really Sorry. good. He was the best player. He was yeah. one character. of the worst characters in the game, from, from what Shut I understood. Shut up. But like, Shut your mouth. For that, duos, that, best character. He was the only character that we played. We yeah. Would, we would there only were, <laughs> go online playing double LeBron James. There, there, were, there were days where we spent several hours uh, in voice calls on Discord uh, with a music bot playing Fetty Wap in the background, really bad uh, audio crunched Fetty Wap mm-hmm. uh, as perfect cell mods for LeBron. And it was some of the best times of my life. Uh, and that's why yeah. I don't use Twitter anymore. Yeah, that, that was the last time I remember being happy. Yeah, yeah. it was the first um, time I remember being happy. <laughs> it's the only time. God. <laughs> oh, man. Why does uh, it seem yeah, like that's... all the platforms are like going to crap right now? Yeah, like, like what made it, we got to 2023 and everyone said, no, 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 you can't enjoy the internet anymore. You can't. Like we got past the pandemic and simultaneously Twitch, Twitter and Reddit decided to all go down a terrible route that just made their yeah. platforms a lot more usable. Mm. Well, I don't, this was a long time coming in, in most of those cases. Twitter was mm-hmm. a fast one, but... That was a even unique then, case. Right? Yeah, like, even that, even with, yeah. twi- with Twitter, it's, it still would have been a, a highly unprofitable business that had to do something, right? Um, it would have shut down or it would have degraded or it would have sold or it would have brought in changes that, that you know, more monetization. Um, the, the foolishness, <laughs> the foolishness was buying this thing for $44 billion dollars with the expectation that you can make up the $5.8 billion it makes a year in, in revenue uh, with exclusively a subscriber uh, system at $8 a month, which would mean a 18 to 19% uh, conversion rate, which is, you know, YouTube premiums at like, 1.8 <laughs> yeah and and you credit know? to youtube premium the members that of youtube premium that watch any channel of any sort they have such an outsized uh monetary impact on channels compared to, to how many yeah. there are Premium's it's actually great. impressive like Good genuinely to know i'm great. doing my part yeah like i there are times where like you, you will make more off of one premium view than you would off of like dozens or hundreds of, of regular YouTube views, depending on how many things that person watches in a month. So Nico, if you watched only Krub and Moriarty and the Golden Bolt and JTart9 stream archives, you, we would get that full share of the, you know, the $6 creator split of the $10 a month or whatever it is, somewhere thereabouts. Wow. It, it's a, a good thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so so like, you know, YouTube premium is, is still even being a good program that is actively helpful for the creators and you know whatever um 1.8 percent of Mm -hmm. users are on that uh you know like like it's pretty hard to get a 20 percent conversion rate especially when most of your audience is children yeah sure and what does twitter blue give you that is worth eight dollars a month i think fewer ads fewer not none yeah yeah fewer and even then Mm -hmm. All those ads have been driven off the platform because of all the dumb shit that that. Yeah. Also, you know, a blue check pretty... mark, which is now just <laughs> which, a, a badge to bully people with. Well, there's that, but there's also the fact that with fewer uh, ads of substance on the platform, you need to make up more money with more Twitter Blue subscribers. So yeah. it's now like probably 25% conversion rate, except that the user number has gone down. 
So now yeah. it's like a 30% conversion oh. rate. It's, it's, it's fascinating. It's watching a toilet flush in real time. Yeah. I'm just so curious as to like, so Twitter has to still have other shareholders. And so my it question has the Saudi is, government. Yes. Yeah. The Saudi investment fund, I think is the official name, right? Well, that's fair. But then what kind of, what kind of a shareholder in good faith would see that financial model that says a 20 plus conversion rate percent and say, this is doable. This is feasible. So, so long term, right? Twitter ha and, and you brought up Vine and you brought up Periscope and yeah. both of these kind of tie into this. Uh, the long term plan for Twitter has always been to be a competitor to some of the Asian applications that are your one stop shop for everything. Right. Mm -hmm. Most specifically might be um, uh, WhatsApp. I think, right? Like a Weibo? No. Or, we, or yeah, a yeah, yeah. Line, line in Japan, for example. All, all of these kind of like uh, things in, in Asia where it pays your, you know, you're doing your payment processing, you're doing your messaging, you're doing your purchasing, you're doing everything, right? So the long-term plan has always been to be that. And uh, Elon's long-term plan is still that with his X app. So long-term... Getting rid of Vine made sense because Twitter already had a video platform and they didn't want to pay creators, right? Because Vine creators wanted money, rightly so. Uh, they were generating all of the value from Vine, sort of like, you know, Reddit creators. Yeah. Um, we'll get to that one, I'm sure, at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. This is the problem with social media episode, 2023 yeah, edition. Right. Yeah. And then Periscope um, was costing a lot of money. And it didn't really fit into their kind of concept of a unified application because it, it was never really built into the whole thing. Yeah. So getting rid of Periscope made sense in a way. Uh, plus, uh, nobody There's used Periscope. Of, nobody well, watched. And, and the people that did, there was a lot of dark <laughs> stuff on Periscope. Yeah. yeah to, it's to keep it's it not light. what you wanted. Um, um, so at least yeah, it wasn't so, so like eventually you get the X app. Uh, now, right? T yeah. Before you eventually would have gotten Twitter. That's where I go to do everything. Yeah. And the other side of it is, and this is something that I'll say because someone in the, the comments will probably say it on the YouTube side of this, is there's an argument to be made that because Twitter is actually a pretty good bastion of news and uh, easy access to uh, breaking stories as they break on the ground, you know, it's replaced uh, a lot of modern beat journalists, their mm -hmm. beats are now Twitter. Uh, you can see how an authoritarian government might not want that is the Which argument is that Saudi people have made Arabia's for why Arabia. they would, for why such a government would invest in a platform that has actively caused things like some of the uh, Iranian student uprisings of the past year, for mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. Not directly, but it had a hand in spreading that information. <clears throat> And no, uh, spreading information is a huge negative to someone gripping to power in, in a geopolitical sense. Mm -hmm. So that, that's that's another theory as to why beyond the, the Saudi government investing in pretty much everything, you know, like it's just that they yeah. have the money and they want to invest it to uh, give themselves a better uh, portfolio on the global stage, for lack of a better word. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's funny that, that you sense. bring that up because, like, in my very dumb, not matter news cycle, the NBA and NHL free agency period is is right when we're recording this episode, and I was frantically trying to refresh my Twitter uh, feed when the six hundred limit thing that was enacted, and no one could get on Twitter. Um, because yeah. someone just requested a trade and then people were getting signed and I was like, who's going where? I need to know who's playing for my team. I need to know who's playing <laughs> for every other team and I can't figure it out now because I don't know where to go. <laughs> and it gets it gets better because we'll take this into Reddit now. Uh, the main subreddits for a lot of sports uh, agencies, uh, associations, etc. tend to have most of their posts come from Twitter. Twitter is a major aggregate of all of this stuff because it's the easiest place to drop a quick, hey, this is happening, see ya. Yeah. And that 
affects even like the quality of posts you could find there. You can't use that as a news aggregator as much when a lot of news for uh, very short uh, half-life things comes from Twitter. Uh, not to mention the other stuff with Reddit, which uh, M, if you would like to take point on that. The other stuff on Reddit? What am the I rest, taking point the, on? <laughs> the rest of it. Go nuts. Here's your platform. M, uh, we, we got interrupted by things that we said that were stupid that wouldn't have been fun content. Tell us a little bit about, similar to Twitter having an issue making a profit, how Reddit's upcoming IPO has affected a lot of their decision making for the negative in the, uh, in the creator space, not just in terms of YouTube creators, but uh, any sort of content uploader or aggregator on Reddit. Well, as far as profitability, man, that's a tough one, right? Because Reddit has not made profit in ever, maybe? I, I think ever. Obviously, it's a private company, so we don't really know, and I'm not you know, uh, a verified investor in, in Reddit or anything. Uh, so we can only kind of take from what like Fidelity tells us and stuff like that. But they've been trying to do an IPO for a long time. They IPO'd, or, or they were originally going to IPO back in 2020 or 20... 21 for like 10 billion, but obviously, you know, things changed. And uh, at one point, they thought they would be uh, valued at somewhere around 15 billion dollars. And then they realized that a significant number of their users, not, not even, you know, uh, definitely not a majority and quite a bit away from even a plurality uh, of users, are on these third-party applications, uh, Relay, Apollo, things like that. Which I'll jump in real quick and say that the reason those apps exist is because Reddit refused to make an official app for about a decade. Yeah, they actually yeah. bought a an app called Alien Blue or Blue Alien. I can't remember which one it was. And um, they bought that with the intention, because it was at one point the largest third-party app, and they bought it in order to turn it into the official Reddit app, and then they didn't. <laughs> oh, dude, that sucks, right? Because, uh, you know, I swear to God, I go, I used to go on Reddit every single day, and I have a third-party Reddit app as well. I don't think it was Alien Blue or Blue Alien or whatever. And then I saw that Reddit had their app. And I downloaded it just to be like, okay, yeah, if I can like use this and maybe the interface is a little bit better, great, right? Uh, it wasn't. It isn't. No, it's very bad. Yeah. It's really, really bad. It's kind of painful, too. And worse, it's hard for moderators, right? Yeah. Power users. And those are really the people who are using this these third-party applications. And they represent, you know, 5 to 10%, which isn't huge, right? It's not a massive percentage. But it's a noticeable percentage, and more importantly, it is the percentage of people who are running most of the subreddits and who are creating most of the content. Right? Yeah. <laughs> for for every uh, Hi. Uh, uh, you know fifty people using the Reddit app, there's a gallo boob out there using not the Reddit app and creating a significant amount of the content that's going on there. And uh, those creators, boy. They sure don't want to use the bad Reddit app. Um, and more importantly, if they're a moderator, they may not be able to use the bad Reddit app to actually do anything. And so yeah. you've got Reddit here who has this sort of desire to IPO and become very, very rich, uh, which is understandable, right? Like, who doesn't want to have $15 billion? I, I think that makes a lot of sense. It totally makes sense why they want to sell. It makes a lot of sense. But in order to do that, they came up with this brilliant idea that what they would do is shut down all of the third-party apps, mostly because the third-party apps are making money and Reddit is not making money. So we're going to shut them down. We're going to bring all those users, the, the, their, the users, the 10% of them who are off using these other apps, we're going to bring them into the main uh, ecosystem. And then not only are we going to raise the number of users that we're seeing, not only are we going to raise the number of, of page views, not only are we going to raise our monthly active users, not only are we going to, but also we're going to recoup the lost opportunities that we had with those users for ad views. Right. Ugh. So it's a multiple, a multiple reasoning there. All of them are very bad though. <laughs> and, Man. and so we have a, 
we have a stake in this uh, to some extent because M and I both run and own the New Tubers subreddit. It's where we actually met. Uh, we've mentioned it before on the podcast, but it's a place where uh, small and starting out uh, YouTube creators or Twitch streamers or now TikTok users, etc., can go to learn how to grow rather than just what you normally see online, which is a new YouTuber throwing a link at you and then they hope you actually will click it and then you never do. That's just usually how it works. Mm -hmm. And we've run into issues for years now, and we've talked to, you know, Reddit admins, Reddit mods. Uh, at one point, I've maybe, gone to meet them in person. Yeah, like actual Reddit staff. Um, we've talked to them about things like how there are multiple versions of just the website of Reddit. There's an old Reddit and a old new Reddit. Reddit new. And uh, one of the things that sucks is between old Reddit and new Reddit and uh, the different third party apps, as well as the official app. One of the things that sucks is that things like uh, sticky posts or announcement posts, stuff that's important for people to read to take part in a community uh, such as YouTubers, you know, like, hey, here's an update on how YouTube changed its policies or, hey, here's an FAQ where you're going to ask the question we've already answered 4000 times. It's there. You know, look at that first before you post, because most of our users are new to Reddit as well as YouTube. We bring in a ton of people to the platform of Reddit. Like, I think it's a couple hundred thousand, uh, a couple hundred thousand people per year at this point. And those announcement posts don't show up on any platform except for old desktop Reddit. Maybe new now, new might actually do it now, but the mobile app of any of them don't because mm -hmm. the layouts are are not. Um, in line with what Reddit designed years ago for the moderation tools. Man. And so to take that full circle, you may have seen headlines about uh, the short-lived and still somewhat ongoing moderator protests that were, uh, you know, frankly, never going to succeed, but that was never really the point of them. It's more of a show of uh, unity and force. But the thing with Reddit and Redditors is that uh, they don't show unity very well. <laughs> because if you get in the no, way of them, if you get in the way of their content, they just automatically hate you. And <laughs> that's that's fun. Uh, yeah. I saw yeah. like some of the, the, you know, the mainline subreddits that did come back, like the NFL or NBA subreddits, for example. Uh, immediately, those mods got clowned on to all hell because uh, they they were seen as caving. Uh, and people were like, oh, you just didn't want to be removed because the, the one of the Reddit, uh, the Reddit CEO started threatening to remove people. They started or, removing people now. Yeah, yeah and say, they didn't, actively did. Yeah, didn't he yeah. start like? Didn't he put out an open call for scabs? Yeah, B basically. Yeah, if and he, they would send ahead. a message to the, as a moderator, you have access to a shared mailbox, and so they sent a message to the shared mailbox that said, "If any of you want to be the lead moderator and will open up, then we'll kick everybody else and make it to you." Man, yeah. That's Do Reddit and, mods make money? No, Reddit, they're, they're no? not allowed to. It's all for clout. So people just so people just go on Reddit and moderate for, for yeah, no reason. There's two sides to it. There's one the well. There's probably more than two, but we'll say two for now. Uh, one, it's people that want some level of power, so it's middle managers. But on the internet, those mm. are the ones that people are think that they are clowning on when they're clowning on the moderators of like an NBA or an NFL subreddit because they see those people as incompetent. Meanwhile, they're those moderators. I, I have some level of empathy for them because they're dealing with posts in the millions per month that they have to filter and remove because of uh, either low effort posts or uh, repetitive posts or offensive posts, things like that, that are violating that the, either the Reddit rules or the particular rules of those subreddits. But just to those get, people, just to jump in there just yeah. slightly, 70% of our posts are spam. Every yeah. like, like if yeah. you look at the subreddit, right, you're seeing 20%. Because seventy percent of it is just straight spam, and ten percent of it is just straight up advertising. So for every one post that's getting through onto our subreddit, there are four that are being removed. Yeah, and Le so that's legitimately, fun. yeah, genuinely, and, and a lot and of them. When you say, sorry, when you say spam, you mean like completely unrelated, like, like spam, shilling something <laughs> like actual spam, like, like automated like, spam, or buy my book that I'm gonna shill to you where I'm a. 400 subscriber creator and here's how you get rich quick um yeah. spam so on yeah. and so forth stuff like that and and that's all done on our end via um auto moderation tools because we have a whole script ready to handle that stuff which is one of the things that reddit has caved on that they said that uh they would uh remove the requirements for the api for uh because there are now limits on the reddit api which is how they're forcing out all the third-party apps and and whatnot 
Uh, but they made exceptions for things like uh, accessibility features or accessibility apps or uh, moderator tools. Uh, the thing some is, of them. Some of them. And the thing is that Reddit uh, says things, and then six years later, those things don't happen. So that's that's I another remember. side of it. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, they said they were going to introduce uh, um, a new Reddit moderator tool into the official uh, app in 2016. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. It's, it's in seven years. <laughs> Almost yes, eight years. And he still have this thing. And Jesus this is the sort Christ. of stuff where, like, I will say, uh, I mean, A, I really don't moderate the new YouTuber subreddit anymore. I'm there, like, every now and then. I help where I can. But there's only five of us that do anything there anymore. And most of it's automated because there's too much to handle. And, hey, we all have jobs, unlike Reddit moderators usually do. Mm. So that's... Ah. That's one side of it is that it's it's you need to have those automation tools. But I had uh, a little bit of um, frustration with how immediate uh, a lot of people were against the uh, the show of unity and how four scabs people were or how we're going to vote you, you out. Why are you taking away my ability to see memes? Yeah. And or even like the um, some of the now the top subreddits like um, I think it was the uh, awe subreddit. So like cute cat pictures. <laughs> it's now just John Oliver. They've said, no, we're just going to post pictures of John Oliver because we know that the moment that they're back from the writer's strike, which is another show of unity, uh, the moment that they're back, they know that John Oliver is going to cover this. And oh, they yeah. know that he will go in and he'll talk about how the CEO of subreddit was on the jailbait moderating team before oh they took that God. one down. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah. that. Why yeah. was that even a subreddit to begin with? It feels like that one should have... Uh not that that goes into a long history on like what is reddit culture and mm -hmm. there is this before spez who's steve huffman he's the current ceo there was another ceo and i don't remember his name off the top of my my mind but he, alec something alex no not alexis alexis ohanian uh who's now married to serena to serena williams um so he and spez were both co-founders and they both sold back in like 2011 for 20 million dollars or 30 million dollars whatever it is um they sold the whole company they don't own any of it anymore so like the the whole thing about steve huffman being really invested in this doesn't make sense because he's not going to be a billionaire right mm -hmm. he's going to get whatever his salary is yeah <laughs> he's a paid a employee now yeah um but there was another one in there, and I can't remember what his name was off the top of my mind, and it doesn't really matter anyways, but he was a radical freedom of speech believer in the same vein as like Gabe Newell or Elon Musk purported to be uh, somebody who believed that you don't you don't get in the way of somebody saying something right. And it's not our job as a platform to do that. And so that's why you had things like watch people die and jailbait and uh other you know not so nice subreddits um yeah. some that were highly highly you know extreme in their politics um and they weren't being removed uh some that were just like <laughs> i'm making this one up but it's very illustrative um in that time a subreddit r slash racism would not have been removed yeah mm -hmm. So the idea That's was also, you have a platform, you're allowing people to have their platform because it's freedom of speech, and therefore they can just say whatever they want. Whatever you want. And if you don't like it, don't go to that one. See, but then my favorite is that Elon then, immediately after he bought Twitter, was suspending parody accounts of him. Yeah, yeah. well, I mean, he bought it. He also got rid of the um, the, the jet tracker. Like, yeah. let's be clear. He showed very, very early on that it was in no way about the purity of freedom of speech. It was yeah. an excuse yeah. to just bring back people he liked onto Twitter to try and bring it's, more eyes to I Twitter. think it was... <laughs> All right, so Tinfoil had a little bit here, right? Let's go. Um, let's go. But this was for Elon, him saying, hey, I want you guys to do something or I'll buy you. And them saying, yeah, how much will you buy us for? And him giving them a number and then thinking he would not have to buy them. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 100%. Uh, he didn't want to buy I don't them. think that's even tinfoil hat at a point, because that's what happened. Like, yeah. yeah. Right, because well, he, he you tried know, to bulk. He would say, right, that he always intended it, whatever. Um, but I definitely believe that, that there was no intention to buy it, never wanted to buy it. And then when he came in, he thought that he could just fix it. Right? Yeah, I mean. That it could just be, oh, 
if I were president for a day, I would just fix everything by doing X, Y, and Z. And so he did that, right? Like that kind of game that we all play of, oh, man, if you just made me dictator of, of the world, I could fix all the problems. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. I just simply I'd make crime illegal. Right. Then that's yeah. what he did. He went in there and he made crime illegal. Yeah. And print then more people... money. Yeah. Print more money. Print more money. Make crime illegal. Give everyone food. I was. Give, yeah, give, give all of the give Delaware all of the debt and then make Delaware secede. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then we become the United States of North America for everyone outside yeah. of Delaware. And then they have the debt and then it's solved. Yeah. Yeah. Um, They're yeah, the no, problems, not us. It, it, it's it's fascinating because uh, if you ever get into a company, uh, this is just a bit of advice here, where someone comes on as CEO or a member of management of any sort and they immediately start making changes you should fix your resume up. You should probably just try and find something else soon because usually those people tend to be the ones that uh, don't manage well because a good a good manager or a good CEO or a good anything, if they join a company, they sit quietly and observe for, uh, for an extended amount of time before mm-hmm. they start changing things. It's, mm-hmm. a, it's a mantra that we even live by here on the Crubcast where we, we yeah. spent six months doing run-up to the, the podcast launching. Because we're very, uh, call us Henry David, we like to be Thoreau. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And there's <laughs> a, <laughs> bring, go ahead. well, there's, there's a, uh, there's a particular, it's not a spoiler, but there's a saying in Ted Lasso where he goes, now, you know, <laughs> he's like, my daddy told me to listen more than I talk. And then there's a whole scene based around that. And he's absolutely right. And that's, you know, a good way to be successful is just listen more than you talk. Unless you're a podcaster. Yeah, in, in which, which case, case you're only talking. Yeah. I have a question. Well, even then, on average, we all listen more than we talk here on the Krebcast. That's what makes it so fun. Yeah, that's it's true. true. Mm-hmm. What were you going to say, Justin? I have a question. If the Reddit yeah. app was good, do you think anyone would care? Well, so yeah. That's, I actually thought about that, too, right? I was like, Absolutely. why not? Like, instead of spending all of this, like, time and hubbub around, like, okay, now we have to get PR in line to, like, deal with all of this, Right. That something that they knew was going to outrage people. Like, why not just take that time and make your app the superior product? Because the thing is, it advertises itself because the users are already on Reddit. So then the people who use the Reddit app would just say, hey, this is actually great. Come here. So yeah, the argument how- there would be that, yeah. oh, we are doing that. It just takes time. <clears throat> yeah. So there's that. And then there's also, well, so there's that part, but it's also... The fact of the matter is, uh, functionally, it's, for lack of a better term, a get-rich-quick scheme. So mm-hmm. yeah. the idea yeah. mm-hmm. is to get all those user numbers up on the main Reddit platform because third-party apps don't make you any money directly, even though there were profit-sharing uh, agreements with some of those apps that existed that they just balked on suddenly when they were like, actually, no, we're just going to do it our way. And the 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 issue is once this thing hits IPO, I'm not a, a financial analyst, so this is not advice, I'm expecting it to crater because I don't know how you can drive a profit on Reddit. Twitter was able to make a decent amount of money uh, stock wise. You know, the stock was not usually terrible. And Reddit yeah, sure. did terrible. have money, too. It was making billions of dollars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? It just needed to figure out how to make this this sort of gap that it had of a few hundred million. And I say yeah. a few hundred million, but still, right, like it, it operated as a tech company producing significant significant profits yeah um in some wow. quarters right whereas reddit doesn't make any money and the only way it can make money is off of monetizing those users through advertising and it doesn't have the number of users that it would need and it also has the wrong kind of users often yeah we've talked about uh or at least i have uh, in the past, sort of the cultural difference between Twitch and YouTube, right? And why you used to make a lot more money on Twitch off of uh, a single viewer than you would off of YouTube. And it was because on Twitch, the viewers wanted to see you succeed monetarily, right? Mm-hmm. So they would subscribe, they would give you bits, they would donate, they would do these things. And that was sort of the accepted culture. You pay the creator, you make them you know, at least livable for the amount of time that they're spending with you. Whereas on YouTube, 
there are things like sponsor block and ad block and everybody bemoans the fact that there are ads and uh, they work really, really, really hard to not give you money. And you have, you know, a significantly smaller percentage that are willing to go and give you a few dollars on uh, on Patreon. So it's much, much more difficult culturally to make money off of YouTube. Same sort of concept here off of uh, Reddit users versus Twitter users. A Twitter user is, you know, your average everybody, right? It, it really is kind of the yeah. the the meeting hall of, of the internet, right? Everybody's on there from your mom to, you know, young kids. And uh, there's politicians on there and there's tech bros on there. There's everybody on there. Reddit's much more generally kind of Redditor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's I a mean, reason that the redditor is a concept that is yeah. made fun of frequently. Yeah, so, and I, they're I, not going to be watching ads. They're not spending money as much. It's harder to monetize them. They almost had a good Do, thing before you go, Nico. I just want to jump in real quick. They're, they also had one thing that they did really, really well, which was, and I'm not kidding here, Reddit Gold. Yeah, because Reddit Gold was good. They they were able to get people to pay Reddit for the ability to give a super upvote, mm -hmm. and somehow it worked, and it continued to work. And they even did it by taking the, the fan-made free Reddit Silver thing and turning that into an official paid thing as well. Mm -hmm. It was a genius move that I, I'm surprised it worked because I don't tend to think of Redditors as having money usually because it's just <laughs> it's just Diet 4chan. Let's be real. Uh, just more yeah. broad now. I mean, it's always been. It's yeah, it started, been. it started as Diet 4chan. It is a much more broad thing. It is one of the top websites in the world in terms of uh, a user base, you know. Yeah, I mean, um, look, but, it, but it's anyway. one of the only websites in the world now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was yeah. a joke. But, uh, yeah, do you guys know, have you guys ever met any Redditors in real life? I went to gaming yes. conventions. I've met Kevin. Okay, no, not, not, counting, not counting gaming conventions. Uh, yes. Well, we have other YouTubers, people, but also YouTubers aren't traditionally Reddit users. They are the exact opposite of Reddit users. We're the kind of user that Reddit doesn't want yeah, because well, they create accounts for that subreddit and then they YouTubers. come to the YouTubers Discord and then usually they stay on the Discord because the Discord is, is better. Yeah, uh, Discord.gg slash YouTubers if you're a YouTuber. Join. Tell them I sent I, you. Don't message me. But, I just don't know. Um, I, I'm so confused as to where the like... Redditors being like, well, actually, like, you know, I, I don't know where that stereotype. Have you been on Reddit? From. <laughs> well, I have, but I've never seen section. any of you the, don't read the comments. I just like see. Yeah, yeah you're, I, you're, you're, the way you consume social media is uh, debatably ideal at this point. But at the point in time when you started doing it was not necessarily the way that social media was intended to be engaged with. Because I remember at a point you had said, uh, why would I look at anyone else's Instagram post? Or tweet. Yeah, I don't. That's true. I don't look uh, at anyone else's Instagram posts. Uh, I don't. Um, well, now with Twitter, it's become a little different because I just I've been seeking out. I always seek out memes. Um, but that's a Reddit. I always lurked. I like never really post anything on Reddit. It was like, you know, I, I maybe made five Reddit posts like ever. Right. Yeah. Um, but if you don't read the comments, then you're not going to see the well actually -ing because that's where <sighs> it starts. I do, but usually and I mean, the comments... By, by default, you'd have to not only read the comments, but the replies to the comments where yeah. somebody is saying, it's well, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I will say, I had noticed a really large uptick in misogyny, like, kind of recently. Um, yeah. And I'm not sure if that's like just... Like in yourself? Or just... <laughs> in Reddit. <laughs> on Reddit, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> not in Nico. <laughs> yeah, not on me. No, 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 no. Um, we, we do not support misogyny here at all hell buckets. Um, but or crub for, for or cr yeah, I was like, don't speak just for yourself. <laughs> oh, hey, every time I said we at crub don't support this, I always get speak for yourself. No, but so that's, if it's a common that sense off, one, anyway. that's, if it's a common sense one, that's different. That's real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, we at crub denounce misogyny. Hell yeah, yeah brother. Um, but, uh, you know, at, I had been going on Reddit. I, I don't know if it's because I'd been looking in the comment replies more. I've always looked at comments on posts, but like I've just started to see a lot more misogyny very blatantly so, and it's written a lot differently. And I, and I don't know if that's because the user base has changed. I don't know if that's because the user base has radicalized or I don't know if that's just because I wasn't noticing it for years. Uh, yes to all of those for one, but also uh, it's been a known thing for a long time, and I'm going to keep this very broad for the sake of our all, all of our sanity here. Yeah. Uh, it's been known that Reddit has been astroturfed by 
uh, many different uh, companies and governments, yeah. uh, entities of other types of any sort. Uh, there's a reason there were a lot of anti-Ukraine posts very suddenly last year. Um, that, and, there's, just, and there's a reason there's a drop off now because Russia happens to be occupied a little bit more now, uh, uh, time wise, not physically. Sorry, just just for the listeners, just for the listeners, by astroturfing, you mean botting. Yeah, yeah, botting or artificial or, um, accounts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's yes. a reason why a, an account with a ton of karma is worth a lot of money, and that's because well, it makes you look like you're a real account when you're posting these mm -hmm. things that are in line that's with the, the botting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's that, and then again, to keep this part even shorter, uh, there's a there's a very noted trend in in radicalization of of misogyny. To keep it very quick and brief. Uh, in a specific demographic of people that happens to use Reddit frequently. That makes and sense. And that's just kind of, that's been a thing for, let's call it uh, the last nine or so years, yeah, give or take. That makes sense. And yeah. then when you live in an echo chamber, I suppose the ideas always uh, become mm -hmm. more insidious over time. Mm -hmm. and, well, and it's a, it's yeah, a, and it's they a create a new chamber. subreddit with, with the yeah. next darker version. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's that addicting feedback loop that just uh, causes so much... Uh, so much damage and it's it's hard to come out of yeah well and but you know what else is hard to come out of right is like now the crub cast god yeah, the crub oh it's it is hard to come out of the crub cast folks make sure you go to crub.org and make sure that you listen to our podcast on uh, everywhere that you get podcasts all of everywhere them. that matters Please not anywhere uh, listen to all of them individually put, yeah, put listen them to all, all of them. on at once and listen to it all at one time yeah and leave a good nice review for uh for us there um be nice uh, that said, fellas, like, you know, for me, it's hard to get out of this loop of like, now I open up Twitter. I realize that Twitter is bad. Then I close Twitter. And then I think about opening up Reddit and I'm like, no, wait, I can't do that. And then I don't open up Reddit. And so now I, I'll be like, if I have like five minutes at work, like I'm waiting for somebody to, to send me something or, or whatever. Right. Um, I'm not going to turn my phone off volume on and go to watch a TikTok, right? I'm not going to watch YouTube shorts when I have to have my phone on silent. So the question is, where do we go for memes nowadays? Right? Like what? I don't want to go to Instagram either. Cause it, that is just the, yeah, every, the memes are it's months and months too late. Um, and that just doesn't work for me. So I, I'm, I'm curious. Do you guys know any other websites? Are there any other websites out there? It seems like at this point, there's only five websites on the internet and it, it, you know, I know I made a joke about that earlier, but it's just seeming as wide as the internet is that it's much closer these days. I will so, say that, oh, you go. Go ahead. No, no, I was, no, go ahead. I, go ahead. I was going to say, I, it feels like to me that Reddit is just a fancy like forum board mm -hmm. and I'm sure there's well, other forum boards out there. A fancy one, but more damaging because it killed forums uh, to a true. significant degree. Not single-handedly, but it did. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, because you were, you were a forum guy like back in the early days of the internet. Very briefly. like um, uh, Some of our other buddies were more so. I didn't really understand the culture too much until mm -hmm. it was like, oh, here's a niche video game like PlayStation All-Stars that no one, everyone's dunking on. Where, where do you mm -hmm. go in the pre-Discord age for that? And Discord's another thing that's sort of killed forums even more so. That's like the final uh, nail in the coffin, yeah, which is kind of a shame. Huh? Which kind also of a shame. I think is the answer, by the way. Yeah, yeah, and I was going to say that too, actually. Um, but before we jump jump to that, uh, the thing that sucks about Discord uh, mainly is that Discord servers can go away whenever, and so there's mm -hmm. no archive of them. And so as someone who uh, fancies himself a very mild historian in different pieces of media, games, shows, movies, whatever, uh, as a as a job at this point, that's kind of a shame because it makes it real easy to a do some heinous shit and get away with it. Uh, B for uh, innocuous shit to go away, like uh, the Insomniac uh, Insomniac Games, the the studio that made uh, Spider Man, Ratchet and Clank, etc. They uh, they moved their forums to a Discord at some point, and uh, I was actually on those forums back in the day uh, because it was like, hey, here, my my people, the five people that like Ratchet and Clank on the internet. And the Discord is something that I will not engage with frequently. Nothing against it. It seems fine. But 
uh, uh, that's more of a job thing at this point. Yeah. But you can't really look and save things as easily. You can't find nuggets of information. Like uh, when yeah. I say, for example, that uh, I was one of the first people to publicly mention the uh, useless podcast. There's two people uh, who were former designers and develop or one designer, one programmer on the PS2 Ratchet and Clank games. They did a Let's Play series that I referenced in my Ratchet and Clank retrospective series uh, back around 2012 or so where they played through the games and talked about stuff behind the scenes that they did as uh, at first junior designer and programmer and then senior designer and programmer as time went on before they left the company. And I remember finding it and it was like a couple hundred views and it was just this hidden gem on YouTube. And I mentioned it on those forums. But now I, you just got to trust me now that I said that, uh, mm. which is not really a big deal to me. Obviously, I don't really care if you believe me or not on that because it's true. But it's one of those where you don't have that archive anymore. It's gone. Yeah. I didn't even think about the preservation implications of, mm -hmm. of discord as a medium, there, but there are forums that, from the nineties that still exist that you can find archives of man. Wow. Yeah, Cause you can yeah, like way like, back machine that stuff. Way back machine. Yeah. yeah there's still well, I mean, I active, sites out there. Yeah. Even active archives, not even just like an archive.org thing. Like there are, yeah. those sites can still be up to some extent. Yeah. Um, but as long to as go like with, somebody owns the domain name or something mm -hmm. and it's stored somewhere. Yeah. yeah. And to go to what M was saying, um, I'll pass it along to you here. Uh, Discord is my answer too. You get a Discord server with a bunch of people that you share uh, humor with and they then post memes and then that's that. Yeah, but it's, I feel like, A, I don't want to just like talk to people like directly. Like I, I like having that archival experience, right? And B... Um, it's not frequent enough, you know, like I feel like in discords, like people aren't in there just posting memes. You just got to get onto the right day. discords then. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah. There's it's a fun. discord out there that is just filled with memes that you yourself, you, yes, you, Nico, you would love it on that discord. But I don't, I don't um, want to go on discords with people I don't know. Those are like strangers. You, you don't talk to them. You just browse the discord for memes. That's it. You just take their memes. You're just looking at memes. Uh, the problem I see with it is that I don't think everything should be on Discord. Mm -hmm. And the problem with Discord that Discord has with that is that they want everything on Discord. So that's why it's one of the best file uh, folders out there. <laughs> you can upload infinite amounts of storage um, and up to, what, like 500 megs per file. Like, it's insanely valuable like that. Uh, but what you end up seeing is, let's say, uh, you want to go get a mod for a game, right? It'll say, oh, join our Discord. Yeah. And then there you go. You can download. From I don't want to do that. I just want to download the thing. Just yeah. put, give me a GitHub link. exists. Like, you can just put it on GitHub. Get a GitHub yeah. or a mega.nz. And like that. does mega still exist? Justin, yeah. Yeah. Does. Wait, Justin, what? <laughs> uh, there's a website called um, mega, M-E-G-A. Yeah dot new zealand and that's like one yeah. of the best like file sharing things that i've I, ever run into i thought it went down is that media fire no 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 i Medi used it like media a year fire ago. went down i think media fire did was, go okay. down but mega yeah okay. i was using that like a year ago that makes sense i, I got yeah. it mixed up no they used um, to post they used to post all the like uh bedroom producer like drum kit samples on media fire <laughs> not where i thought you were going <laughs> not where i thought you were going at all <laughs> I have no clue what you where. No, no, go to, I was right there with you. Yeah, I go to right Media Fire to find bedroom productions. No, yep. yeah, no, no. You find like drum kit samples, like drum samples. But bedroom there's gonna be a productions. lot of there's gonna be a lot of hitting noises that are gonna happen when you go to <laughs> this bedroom productions upload. <laughs> Producing God. things in your bedroom, some might say. Yes, yeah, yeah that's what I meant. Producing things in yeah. your bedroom because that's how a lot of music's made nowadays. And to touch on Discord uh, a, a little further, one of the things that's interesting is you can kind of see in real time as it's about to be uh, put under greater scrutiny and uh, mm -hmm. risk of, of proper regulation of sorts, mm -hmm. because there was the whole thing where there <laughs> Minecraft. was a Minecraft Discord server where someone leaked uh, Pentagon secrets to get clout for some reason in a Minecraft server that no one noticed it, but it was a thing. And between that and illegal, um, you know, pirated uploads of things, et cetera, it's only a matter of time until Discord comes under a lot more scrutiny and has to crack down on a lot of this stuff. And Was so it? it's the sort of thing that you see uh, that Reddit got through, that Twitter had struggled with, that YouTube had struggled with. Uh, you know, we all dunk on YouTube's copyright system, but it is the best in the world. Yeah. There is nothing close to it. 
and the fact that it sucks is more, I mean, Tom Scott did a brilliant video on this. It's not the YouTube copyright system. It's copyright. Like that's the problem. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Just I was going to say, is that the person that said, holy freaking bingo? I found the no fly list. Pro maybe. <laughs> I don't think it's the same person, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so that's like an old, I think it was an old, like, um, what's the name of that I don't website think it, that like is for like, you can make your own like blog about yourself. GeoCities? No. Or Blogspot? Blogspot. Someone Tumblr? Like someone, someone had like their own blog spot and they, it was like some weird like furry thing, I think. And they were like, I'm a novice hacker and they were like holy freaking bingo i found the entire nsa no fly list and it was like with a picture of like a mudkit plushie next to the no fly list from the tsa oh yeah God. i remember that they printed it out physically and took a picture of it yeah that's incredible if you if you look that up it's really really funny <laughs> chris pull that up pull that up chris, um, god we can't make chris jamie we can't do that <laughs> we have respect for that man yeah, that's fair. That's fair. We actually like Chris. Chris, put it back. Chris, yeah. <laughs> Chris, don't try not to spread misinformation on the internet challenge parentheses impossible. That's what I do. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Everything you say is a lie and everything I say is the truth. Which one of us is lying? <laughs> Um, to answer Nico's question in my way, I don't really care about the memes on Reddit. I do care about the memes on Twitter. Because those are the most dis those are the most disposable tweets and most disposable content on the internet. Like mm -hmm. tweets are the most disposable thing, and I can just click a link, copy it, put a VX in front of it, and post it anywhere. And that's the kind of thing that I for now want some for now exactly. Um, yeah. That's something that I don't want to disappear in the future because I I need something that's like super disposable, and I don't have to sit there and think about it for more than a minute. I can just do it and it's gone and I don't even have to think about it anymore. And mm -hmm. it's mainly for news. Like the news is like mm -hmm. really contingent on it nowadays. And a strong news force is like incredibly important to the entire world. So I yeah. feel like if, yeah. if Twitter goes down, we do need to find a, re a re replacement for that. For Reddit, I'm like, eh, Discord can just do Red that job a lot easier. Reddit but, has its well, values. Well, it's amazing that you would say that because, you know, um, good old fashioned, or our good old buddy there, uh, Zuckerberg, announced their Twitter uh, competitor today. Oh, it's oh. Facebook? And it will be coming out in three days or something like that. Sure. So by the time you're watching this live, or I guess recorded, you'll oh. be able to go get yourself onto Facebook 2. It's called Threads. That makes sense. Uh, it's a not a very good name, that. but it does make sense. Threads mm. should be their Reddit knockoff, not their Twitter knockoff. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's so. I mean, they've never I feel been like, good at naming. But they already things. have Facebook. Why do they need? Facebook's different. Yeah, Facebook. It's not. A lot it is. It is very different. How? It's Facebook. It's also yeah, like it's for yeah. it's for like very old people. Yeah, now it is, but I mean functionally. Yeah, it's still for very old Functionally, people. Functionally, it's not for bite-sized things. It's for people complaining about politics. Hmm. Which, I mean, you can do on Twitter, but like... It, yeah, Twitter's you can do different. it on Twitter, but there's a there's a character limit, thank God. Yeah. The character limit forces um, you to be more concise and shareable, whereas Facebook, sure, you can sure. have as long of a post as you want. Well, sure, but that's how... But didn't Twitter start as just like Facebook, but it's micro? No. Like, wasn't that the whole thing? No, it started so that mm -hmm. Jack, whatever his last name, Jack Dorsey... Could just uh, you know be like I went outside late today. That's, That's it. it. I'm going back to MySpace. I mean, Facebook was MySpace. That's the comparison if you want to make it. Yep. That's true. I just but don't. I just don't understand like the the fundamental difference at like the the core level. It's Facebook people, has a stink to it. Well, yeah, now it does. But I'm saying strip all that away. Ended. Just think but of the you, value you can't proposition. Strip that away. You can't strip away. You. You can't repaint a car that was on fire and say that it'll still work the same. Facebook has a stink to it that you can't just convince people to go back to Facebook. It's not going to happen. Facebook was so toxic of a brand name that the company renamed itself hoping it would work, and it didn't. Right. Okay. That's. I see where you're going now. Also, I didn't know what like, direction. I was just talking... I was having a different conversation. You're yeah. right. I feel yeah. like Facebook is also different. I feel like I don't see the news on Facebook. I see like what people like what the people that are my friends want me to see 
Yeah. I Whereas, see what Russia wants me to see. That's also true. But yeah. with, with Twitter, it, be, it became like this thing of like a mixture of the people I specifically follow and then some extra tweets that are like for you. And mm-hmm. I didn't feel like I ever got that on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I started turning off retweets from everybody recently. I started turning off like almost all retweets. I feel like that's significantly less content. Yeah, so that seems, this, that seems ahead, not as good. Yeah. There's a there's a specific thing that this all kind of brings us to that I think might be a good way to start uh, closing out a very large discussion that we're kind of condensing down into an hour and a half. We could yeah. go into we could go into detail on any of these Seriously, things. Seriously, I mean, yeah. M and I alone could go into a whole diatribe about. I mean, I I, I kind of stopped part way through, but the the Reddit mod hate stuff kind of annoyed me because yeah, a lot of Reddit mods are are bad and stupid, but also the reason that a lot of them caved on that Reddit boycott was not because they wanted to keep their dumb power. Most of the people that moderate on Reddit probably don't want it as much as you think they do. It's more of a thing of well, we've put a lot of time into this, and if we give it to somebody else that we haven't vetted it might just go into the dump. And then what have I done with my life? Which given Mm -hmm. you were still on Reddit. So that's kind of a problem there. (laughs) But anyway, the, the question that I kind of think that all this brings us to is with something like Reddit and Twitter sort of uh, circling a, a figurative drain in terms of not lifespan, but personal value to us. And with discord not necessarily acting as a, as a, strong enough substitute to that at least yet and with all the you know thread or blue sky or mastodon or whatever the hell all trying to fight for a piece of the pie that none of them are going to take except for maybe blue sky if they're lucky uh what do we like to do the four of us here that we're not doing going back to the main question now that things like those are are circling that drain so there's the touching grass part of this, because this is a very internet based discussion uh, mm-hmm. here on this internet based podcast. And I think that there's value to uh, saying what we do now that this stuff is kind of uh, falling by the wayside. And you remember, oh, yeah, Twitter is toxic. No one ever has a good day on Twitter. A wise yeah. man once said, you never yeah. have a good day or a good time on Twitter. You, don't, you open Twitter and you get annoyed by the end of it. That's it. It's true. So, uh, Justin. What what have you been doing with the extra time that you have because Twitter sucks? Man, um, I've been watching more YouTube videos, I'll be honest with you, trying to discover more content creators on YouTube that I like. Um, I also, like, like I said in the beginning of the pod, I went to the movies. I don't go to the movies all that often, but now I know what movies are out because I'm like, well, let's do something today. Let's, let's go out and explore and do that Mm -hmm. also going to a lot more like in-person events like kevin and i have been getting into pokemon tcg and i've been going and looking at more pokemon tcg stores and it turns out those stores also do like fighting game tournaments and i really like fighting games so i'm like oh maybe i can go in there and make friends instead of yelling at people on the internet that i don't really know yeah um and like that i i so a i those are all really cool and positive things genuinely uh i think those are all really good at building a, a personal community of people. Like, I know that too many games, you were playing Street Fighter against some guy, uh, and you seem to be having a good time, and I thought at the end you were going to, like, drop, like, a, hey, you should go follow me on Twitter so we can, like, play more. And you didn't do that, and that's fine if you didn't want to do that, but it was, like, that was one of those moments where I'm, like, you know, that's where the value of a thing like Twitter comes in, is that you can just make a quick, hey, I'm here, let's play more, let's become somewhat friends yeah, if you want to you know, talk like, longer than this time we have at the arcade cabinet here you can reach yeah. me on here yeah and so there's like that value to it uh and like i said all those things are really cool and positive uh on the other side i do, I do like what have you been doing touching grass wise now that twitter's it's gone and you're like i went to the movies and played pokemon <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh just wait until you hear mine just wait until you hear mine because you're going like, outside i was like <laughs> Like, no, like you did it. And then it's like, oh, not like that. That, But that works. It's very, yeah. it's actually genuinely cool. Nico, yeah. what about you? All my hobbies involve sitting down. Um, so I've been sitting down a lot. Now, uh, I've been very independently busy, but most of the time I've been asking people where I can go outside of Twitter and Reddit to get memes. Um, and outside of that, uh, I guess I've been working on my... IRL friend making abilities. 
Uh, because uh, Mor- Moriarty actually once told me, if you want to talk to somebody, all you have to do is say hi to them. So yeah. I've been trying to do that a little more. Very I good. don't know. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It was good advice. Um, I don't know if that is scratching the itch. In fact, I know it's not. Uh, I've been going on TikTok a lot. I've been trying to make some music. Let me posit a thing. It, yeah. It's not scratching that itch. Does that mean that it's an itch that does need to be scratched or that it's a rash that you should let go away? Uh, for me, for me, it's the itch because I'm not unhappy that I don't have them. I'm just like, man, it'd be cool if I had them. Sure, sure. Um, I'm, I'm saying more like the fact that you have that itch, if you were to let it persist for longer and you took the time to let that rash heal. Mm hmm. Do you think you would be better off uh, no longer even thinking about like there's a day that will come that you won't think about Twitter anymore? It's a very it's an incredibly, incredibly good question. Right. Like and to be honest with you, I don't think I can say right now, sure, but it is a fine. question that I would like to revisit in like five years. Fair. That's fair. Yeah. I do like that Nico, when prompted, said, I've then just been pro- asking my IRL friends where to find memes. So what I'm getting is that this entire podcast you've been doing to other people. <laughs> yeah, I ha- you you think you're the only ones that I asked that question to? You, uh, I thought I was special. Selfish. Selfish. I thought, Selfish. We, ha- I thought we had oh something. Oh my God. Justin, come on now. It's not defined until it's explicitly defined, Justin. Come on now. And what about you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy, I, I don't know. I'm still on Twitter a lot. Um, my Reddit app relay hasn't stopped working yet. So I'm kind of just holding on to the vestiges. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my, I used uh, Sync and my Sync app get, sent me a, like a push notification that said, it, like, it's been real, guys. Like, we're, we're not doing it anymore. Like, it's done. And yeah. I was like, man... What do I do? <laughs> I just I feel know. like... I, I do events. I, I get out of the house quite a lot, but I did that beforehand anyways. Like, Reddit for me, Reddit and Twitter are the thing I pull out of my pocket when I'm sitting waiting something, you know? Like, earlier today, I had to go return a pair of shoes at a Kohl's and uh, standing in line behind a whole bunch of tennis moms, and it's like, all right, I guess I'll pull out my phone and browse Reddit or browse, you know, Twitter. Um so that I don't know what's going to replace that. Yeah. Maybe mobile games. I, dude, no, but even then, I've been trying to find mobile games too, and I can't find any that don't have like a ton of ads in them. I, I got have, you. I have a good one. Justin, you go first. It's Fire Emblem Heroes. Die. I'll <laughs> go second. Round Guard, the Peggle roguelike. Is that a mobile you game? Get on it on mobile, mobile phones. It is on mobile phones, I'm pretty sure. I saw an announcement for it at some point on the Steam Ooh. page. Am I about so, to pay another am I about to pay another five dollars to get round? It's probably Guard cheaper on, on mobile. It's probably cheaper on mobile. Uh, good, because I, I uh paid way more than that for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. If you haven't it's played round it. guard, oh, play round yeah. guard. Yeah, oh it's great. It's so good. It's genuine recommendation. No, it is. I, mm-hmm. I, I like that game a lot. Yeah. Uh Moriarty, Actually, you that's a really us, good I think you watched us play that. I think you watched us play that, but you didn't know what it was called. It's a Peggle game where you are playing a roguelike RPG and you have different character builds and you go around and you try and like win the map of Peggle. It's kind of like Slay the Spire if you ever played Slay the Spire, but instead of deck building, you're playing Peggle. Yeah, and so you get different power-ups. You are the ball, so you do and take damage every time you hit an enemy. You can shoot arrows if you get the ar- the arrow power-up. Uh, get different yeah. custom upgrades and stuff. Kind of like uh, it it's also to be hard. free today. Ooh. Oh, on mobile. On mobile. Okay. Well, this well, was a good. If really you're unfortunate. Yeah. If you're listening uh, in the who, audio realm, sorry. Who would have thought that we would get to the end of this podcast and have an answer, have mm. one definitive, the only answer to this question? And it's what do I guard. do when I can't get memes? Memes. You play round card. <laughs> <laughs> that better be on their on their Steam page by the end of this. That better be like their their top review. Oh, I hope so, man. That's a what a great game. It's the natural evolution of Peggle. Yeah, I know. Um, one thing that I'll say is I, I read this uh, not a long time ago, but in the last year or so, which was a comment about uh, more about kids being bored 
than than adults being bored. But it did stick with me either way, which is, you know, you should take time to be bored every now and then. And yeah. I think I saw this on Twitter. So what do you know? Um, uh, but go ahead. What, what, were, what I was going to ask you what you have been doing. I'm going to get I, I'm going to circle back. To that. Good, good. Um, but yeah, it's I think there's a value to being bored to, you know, like if I'm waiting in line for food or something like my pickup order or whatever, I don't always just pull out my phone. Sometimes I sit there and I'm like, I'm just going to exist and I'm going to exist in that moment. Uh, you know, one of the things that I, uh, we all struggle with at some point, but I know that I struggled with was, uh, making sure you exist in that moment in a super connected society, especially when this is one of our, our jobs slash hobbies is being so connected, you know? And so I made sure to start taking a lot more time to, to not do that over the last year and change or so, especially, um, because it was important because you get too stressed over stuff otherwise, and it's not stuff that matters. You know, before I get worried about anything, I just kind of think, does it matter? And usually the answer is no. And so with that in mind, uh, that was more an answer to like uh, what M was saying earlier about, you know, what is it? Is it mobile games or am I, am I annoyed that Reddit's meme quality is lower when I'm standing in line? And to me, sometimes, yes, sometimes I am. But yeah. usually uh, if I'm not checking Discord, specifically our discords, you know, uh, I just kind of let myself exist. And that that helps at the end of the day. Beyond that, I've just sort sort of taken my uh, my consumption time of things like content, and I've just moved it into a more productive venue. I believe uh, it's actually The Rock that does this. All the TV he ever watches, he watches while at the gym. And mm. so, I picked Succession as the first show I'm doing this with. I will only watch <laughs> Succession while I am doing cardio. Yo, suck it. session. And so that's what I've been doing. Uh, I'm most of the way through the show already, uh, given I also am watching it at uh, multiple times speed because it's it's a very slow paced show. And I still do have that desire for things to go a little quicker. So I'll speed it up a little because I can value the pacing at two times speed and still understand what it was like in in the slower term. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. I can go into uh, uh, bullet time and understand it, <laughs> even though it's two times Just speed. Rupert Murdoch talking in a chipmunk voice. <laughs> Is Sorry. Rupert Murdoch in that show? No, no, it's, no. It's, <laughs> it's based off of the Murdoch based, family. Yeah, it's based oh, on. oh, I, I understood him the, based on the yeah. Mets. He owned the Mets. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's all about the Mets, baby. Um, all about him. Yeah, no, that's a good meme that we're not going to see anymore. Oh, yeah, dude. No more uh, Wilson Fisk on my Xbox One X because yeah. it looks like sorry, Wilson sorry, Fisk Kevin, in continue. the movie. No, it's, it's fine. Whatever you guys were just saying, I'm totally for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um... <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. He agrees. <laughs> yeah, but um, that, that's been the gist of it is like I've been spending a lot more time uh, making sure that I go to the gym by like stacking that uh, dopamine that you get from a Twitter or from a Reddit or from a, you know, watching YouTube videos where instead of doing that here or somewhere else in my car or whatever, uh, or if I am in my car, I do it while driving. I don't watch it. I listen. But uh, like you can do with the Crubcast, for example, mm. it's the sort of thing where I'm, I'm stacking those habits together. And making sure that if I'm going to consume something, uh, which is something that I haven't done a lot in recent years because of creating content. You know, there's a lot of times where uh, the famous adage, um, I can't play video games, I'm too busy playing video games, is true. You know, so I started writing down my the things that I'm playing or consuming in the year. Uh, I'm not making it a public media list because that's I think that's stupid and self-aggrandizing. Uh, if you do it, that's cool, but I'm not going to. And so... I've been doing that and seeing like, oh, yeah, I'm not doing enough entertaining things that I should be doing. And so I'm taking time to do those, whether it's playing mm -hmm. uh, like Prey 2017. Uh, I Excellent game. That. I haven't gotten back to it in a little while because too many games got in the way. But I, I looked at that. That's one that I, I'm trying to get back to. Um, I still have to finish Yakuza 5 and, and 6 before I get to 6 slash 7.5, the, the Gaiden game. Uh, a lot of stuff like that where I would dedicate a game or a, a show to like, that's the thing I'm going to watch in my spare time. So like Always Sunny, I'm, I'm finally getting to and through. Great and show. I do that, you know, a little bit before bed or something like that. Or um, I haven't gotten back into reading yet, but I'm trying to uh, spend some more time 
uh, reading soon, you know? Um, so I've just been trying to be more uh, efficient with my time and my enjoyment of things because it's real easy to just sit and be like, I should do that. And then an hour later, you're still sitting, you know, yeah, and Twitter, fair. Twitter and Reddit are part of the reason why for many, many people. And so that's the moral of the story. That's the positive takeaway that I think uh, I would like to share from their hopeful demise. Yeah. I mean, yeah. honestly, I've been, I haven't finished Zelda Breath of uh, Tears of the Kingdom because of that, that thing you just described. Yeah. I, I just need something to do while I'm blocking Scott the Waz from being in the bathroom. Um. Yeah. Man, if you were sitting there playing round guard and he's just trying to knock on the door, hey, y'all, <laughs> hey, y'all, oh, and you're like, Scott, so calm good. down. I'm about to get the ball on the little platform yeah. so I don't have to lose I, any health. I just got a new ability. <laughs> I did the spin move. I'm All the right. barbarian. All right. And with that, fellas, I think we're good to call it. Can I ask you one like ending question just at the close sure. of the episode? Yeah. Um, what's your favorite of the time of Twitter? What was your favorite uh, gimmick account? Dake. Dake. <laughs> Rado. Rado. My personal favorite one is a gimmick account of this person just takes Pokemon renders and puts um, random sports gear on them for like different like sport uh, franchises around the world. It's really <laughs> dumb and I like it. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, that's like the Super Smash Brothers switching clothes bot. Yeah. <laughs> Moriarty, what's yours? That I, I don't know that I have one, so. Yeah, I don't really have one. You don't think so? No. None that I think. I don't think of Twitter bots ever. No, no, no. Unless no. I this see person's one. not a bot. There's a gimmick account. It doesn't have to be a bot. Yeah. Bot, I, I don't think about bots or gimmick accounts ever. Yep. Unless I'm Never. in the moment of seeing one. They do not ever really? enter my permanent memory. That I see them and I'm so... like, ha, the only one is the poorly aged cat. And that's only because they, they have a plush that's coming out. And uh, like every marketable plushie in recent memory, it's not doing well in pre-sales. And I'm like, man, no one can sell plushies. So if you go to crub.org slash plushie, there might be a link there for you to not buy a plushie because we're not going to have one. We're not going to no, do it. But... It's just a link to a jug of milk. You can buy milk. I could do that. Yeah, we should do that. You should do that. I could do that. Get uh, Chris's Amazon affiliate link in there. I don't think that's allowed, but I, I could ah. do the rest of that. Yeah, do the rest of it. Yeah, so go to crub.org slash plushy and let us know what you think. It's going to be uh, crub.org, C-R-U-B dot O-R-G forward slash P-L-U-S-H-I-E. We're going to make it the other plushy because I feel like that's the better way of spelling it. Yeah. And with that, folks, where can we find you guys? Justin, where can we find you? I'm so famous. If you don't know where I, if you don't where, if you don't know where to find me, you're doing it wrong. Good man, Moriarty. Where can we find you? I'm on YouTube. He sure is. And Kevin, I think we have a special milestone to celebrate. Crub because you slash plushy. Yeah, crub.org slash plushy is our big milestone. No, but Kevin, congratulations to you. You just hit 100K subscribers on Thank YouTube. You. Thank you. And uh, please tell the people where they can uh, help bring that number even higher. Crub.org slash plushy. Oh, right. is that what the link's going to go to? No, no, maybe. <laughs> find out. <laughs> yeah, Let me know what out. you see. It might be a random cycling of links. So in Ooh. the comments, let us know what you see if you go to that, go to that site. Yeah. It's and like as of, always, you can find me down. at all hell yeah. buckets on all platforms. My album, uh, no new thoughts is out on Spotify, Apple music, anywhere you get music. Listen to that after you listen to this, this is buckets for crub signing off. See you later. <laughs>